with the decision having been made for me to do the backup next year and for Shelley to do the actual walk in the parish, she's keen now to do the actual training and to get out walking. Well, as it happens, we're in the winter now and we've just had snowfall as well. So practically she can't get out and do any walking anyways. But I've told her that the main thing that she has to contend with at the moment is training her mind rather than training her body. There's still six months to go. And basically, if she or anyone else who's considering doing the likes of the parish, I mean, obviously these videos, I'll be talking and I'm basically going to refer to the parish because that's what we're doing. But it applies to any similar ultramarathon event. You need to have your mindset clear in the first place. So she's made the decision, she's going to do it. But it's important for her to also make the decision as to how far she wants to go. Now, obviously, I'd like her to finish it. And I think she wants to finish it. So the crux of the matter is, if you want to finish the walk and it's 85 miles, you've got to make that commitment, that internal mental commitment and certainty in your mind that that's what you want to do. It's no use just saying, oh, I'll just see how far I can go. Because when it gets tough and your body starts hurting and aching, you're just going to give up. It's like when I did my first parish, um, it was just a spur of the moment decision that was made in tandem with a friend of mine who decided he wanted to enter the event and go to Peel, which is 32 and a half miles. And when I agreed to do it with him, I suddenly thought, well, actually, not having done it before, I don't know how far I can get, but just for the sake of stopping at Peel, I didn't feel comfortable with the idea that I'd just stop at Peel if I could get to Peel, because of course there wasn't necessarily a certainty that I'd even get that far. I haven't had no experience myself prior to entering. But the main thing was, six weeks before, right near the last minute, we signed up. So we didn't really have time to do any significant training anyways. But for me, I just determined mentally that I'd go to the finish. Naive as it might have seemed at the time, I just determined I'm going to go to the finish. Of course I'm going to go to the finish. It's only 85 miles. Now, obviously part of that was pure ignorance because I'd never done a marathon. I'd never done a half marathon. I had no prior athletics experience. And although I was generally fit, there was no, no reason to suggest that I could just go out and walk 85 miles. But in my mind, that's what I was going to do. I'm going to walk 85 miles. Now, as it turned out on the day, I don't, well, I won't go into it here now, what actually happened. Uh, I'll do another video around that. But the gist is that Terry did exactly as he planned. He determined he'd go to Peel, 32 and a half miles. That's exactly what he did. And he was really happy and delighted with that. But physically, he could have gone further. Um, but he didn't because his mind had been set on that target. 
Peel, 32 and a half miles. So he did it. For me, I determined I was going to the finish. I actually got 61 and a half miles. So that was still a Zaire. And then I couldn't go any further. But that wasn't because my mind wasn't strong enough or determined enough to go further. It literally was because physically I was shot. My legs had gone completely. I couldn't, I couldn't move. And yeah, physically I didn't have the capacity to go any further. I'd probably been more or less running on fumes because I hadn't eaten much at all in them days when I used to eat carbohydrates as my primary fuel source. But I'd stopped eating uh, probably round about Balaf or Jerby at the latest. And then I was just walking on fumes and slowly, slowly the body started to slow down and eventually I just couldn't physically go any further. But my mind effectively was what got me the 61 and a half miles for that first attempt. So the main thing that I'm stressing to you and to Shelley is you need to have that pure determination in your mind that you're going to do the full walk. You're going to go and do 85 miles. Fortunately, there's still six months to go. So the physical element, the physical training that she will need to be able to actually do it on the day next June. There's time to do that, but without having the underlying strength of mind to do the walk, she's not going to do it. So the thing is now, initially, she has to be 100% committed, 100% determined. I'm going to do the full walk. I'm going to do 85 miles. There's no question about it. So that's the gist in today's video. You've got to have a strong mind first. Strong body, fit body, healthy body follows. But the strong determination that the mind is going to get the body to the finish line. Might sound a little bit weird, but strength of mind is number one. Why? Because as the Buddha said, mind foreruns all. So thanks for watching. And that's the first one in this uh, series. I hope it gives you something to think about and reflect upon. And I'll catch you in the next video.